Act 2. Scene 1. Inverness. Court of Macbeth's Castle. Enter Banquo and Fleed, bearing a torch before him. Banquo. How goes the night, boy? Fleed. The moon is down, I have not heard the clock. Banquo. And she goes down at twelve. Fleed. I take tea tis later, sir. Banquo. Hold, take my sword. There's husbandry in heaven. Their candles are all out. Take thee that too. A heavy summons lies like lead upon me. And yet I would not sleep. Merciful powers. Restrain in me the cursed thoughts that nature. Gives way to in repose. Enter Macbeth and a servant with a torch. Give me my sword. Who's there? Macbeth. A friend. Banquo. What, sir, not yet at rest? The king's abed. He hath been in unusual pleasure and sent forth great largess to your offices. This diamond he greets your wife withal. By the name of most kind hostess, and shut up. In measureless content. Macbeth. Being unprepared. Our will became the servant to defect. Which else should free have wrought? Banquo. All's well. I dreamt last night of the three weird sisters. To you they have showed ye some truth. Macbeth. I think not of them. Yet, when we can entreat an hour to serve. We would spend it in some words upon that business. If you would grant the time. Banquo. At your kindest leisure. Macbeth. If you shall cleave to my consent, when tis. It shall make honor for you. Banquo. So I lose none. In seeking to augment it, but still keep. My bosom franchised and allegiance clear. I shall be counsel d. Macbeth. Good repose the while. Banquo. Thanks, sir, the like to you. Exeunt Banquo and Fleed. Macbeth. Go bid thy mistress, when my drink is ready. She strike upon the bell. Get thee to bed. Exit servant. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not, fatal vision, sensible? To feeling as to sight? Or art thou but? A dagger of the mind, a false creation. Proceeding from the heat-oppressed brain? I see thee yet, in form as palpable. As this which now I draw. Thou marshalest to me the way that I was going. And such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools owe the other senses. Or else worth all the rest. I see thee still. And on thy blade and dudgeon gouts of blood. Which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs. Thus to mine eyes. Now o'er the one half world. Nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse. The curtain d sleep, witchcraft celebrates. Pale Hecate's offerings, and wither d murther. Alarum d by his sentinel, the wolf. Whose howls his watch, thus with his stealthy pace. With Tarquin's ravishing strides, towards his design. Moves like a ghost. Thou sure and firm set earth. Hear not my steps, which way they walk, for fear. Thy very stones prate of my whereabout. And take the present horror from the time. Which now suits with it. Whilst I threat, he lives. Words to the heat of deeds too cold breath gives. A bell rings. I go, and it is done, the bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell. That summons thee to heaven, or to hell. Exit. Scene 2. The same. Enter Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. That which hath made them drunk hath made me. Bold. What hath quenched thee them hath given me fire. Hark. Peace. It was the owl that shrieked thee, the fatal bellman. Which gives the stern st good night. He is about it. The doors are open, and the surfeited grooms. 
do mock their charge with snores. I have drugged thee there. Possets. That death and nature do contend about them. Whether they live or die. Macbeth. Within. Who's there? What, ho? Lady Macbeth. Alack, I am afraid they have awaked. And tis not done. The attempt and not the deed. Confounds us. Hark! I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss M. Had he not resembled. My father as he slept, I had done tea. Enter Macbeth. My husband. Macbeth. I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? Lady Macbeth. I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? Macbeth. When? Lady Macbeth. Now. Macbeth. As I descended? Lady Macbeth. I. Macbeth. Hark. Who lies I the second chamber? Lady Macbeth. Denalbin. Macbeth. This is a sorry sight. Looks on his hands. Lady Macbeth. A foolish thought, to say a sorry sight. Macbeth. There's one did laugh in s sleep, and one cried. Murther. That they did wake each other. I stood and heard them. But they did say their prayers and addressed e them. Again to sleep. Lady Macbeth. There are two lodged together. Macbeth. One cried, God bless us, and amen the other. As they had seen me with these hangmen's hands. Listening their fear, I could not say amen. When they did say, God bless us. Lady Macbeth. Consider it not so deeply. Macbeth. But wherefore could not I pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing, and amen. Stuck in my throat. Lady Macbeth. These deeds must not be thought. After these ways, so, it will make us mad. Macbeth. I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep the innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the ravel d sleeve of care. The death of each day's life, sore labor's bath. Balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course. Chief nourisher in life's feast. Lady Macbeth. What do you mean? Macbeth. Still it cried, sleep no more, to all the house. Glamis hath murther d sleep, and therefore caught her. Shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Lady Macbeth. Who was it that thus cried? Why, worthy Thane. You do unbend your noble strength, to think. So brainsickly of things. Go, get some water. And wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them, and smear. The sleepy grooms with blood. Macbeth. I'll go no more. I am afraid to think what I have done. Look on tea again I dare not. Lady Macbeth. Infirm of purpose. Give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead. Are but as pictures, tis the eye of childhood. That fears a painted devil. If he do bleed. I'll gild the faces of the grooms with all. For it must seem their guilt. Exit. Knocking within. Macbeth. Whence is that knocking? How is tea with me, when every noise appalls me? What hands are here? Ha, they pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood? Clean from my hand? No, this my hand will rather. The multitudinous seas incarnadine. Making the green one red. Re-enter Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. My hands are of your color, but I shame. To wear a heart so white. Knocking within. I hear knocking. At the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. How easy is it then? Your constancy. Hath left you unattended. Knocking within. Hark, more. Knocking. Get on your nightgown, 
lest occasion call us. And show us to be watchers. Be not lost. So poorly in your thoughts. Macbeth. To know my deed, twere best not know myself. Knocking within. Wake Duncan with thy knocking. I would thou couldst. Exeunt. Scene 3. The same. Enter a porter. Knocking within. Porter. Here's a knocking indeed. If a man were porter of hell. Gate, he should have old turning the key. Knocking within. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there, I the name of Belzebub? Here's. A farmer that hanged himself on th expectation of plenty. Come. In time. Have napkins and now about you, here you'll sweat. For tea. Knocking within. Knock, knock. Who's there, in th other? Devil's name? Faith, here's an equivocator that could swear. In. Both the scales against either scale, who committed treason. Enough for God's sake, yet could not equivocate to heaven. Oh. Come in, equivocator. Knocking within. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Faith, here's an English tailor come hither, for. Stealing out of a French hose. Come in, tailor, here you may. Roast your goose. Knocking within. Knock, knock. Never at. Quiet. What are you? But this place is too cold for hell. I'll. Devil porter it no further. I had thought to have let in some. Of. All professions, that go the primrose way to the everlasting. Bonfire. Knocking within. Anon, anon. I pray you, remember. They. Porter. Opens the gate. Enter Macduff and Lennox. Macduff. Was it so late, friend, ere you went to bed? That you do lie so late? Porter. Faith, sir, we were carousing till the second cock, and. Drink, sir, is a great provoker of three things. Macduff. What three things does drink especially provoke? Porter. Mary, sir, nose painting, sleep, and urine. Lechery. Sir. It provokes and unprovokes, it provokes the desire, but it. Takes. Away the performance. Therefore much drink may be said to be. An. Equivocator with lechery, it makes him, and it mars him, it. Sets. Him on, and it takes him off, it persuades him and. Disheartens. Him, makes him stand to and not stand to. In conclusion, equivocates him in a sleep, and giving him the lie, leaves him. Macduff. I believe drink gave thee the lie last night. Porter. That it did, sir, I the very throat on me, but. Requited. Him for his lie, and, I think, being too strong for him. Though. He took up my legs sometime, yet I made shift to cast him. Macduff. Is thy master stirring? Enter Macbeth. Our knocking has awaked him, here he comes. Lennox. Good morrow, noble sir. Macbeth. Good morrow, both. Macduff. Is the king stirring, worthy thane? Macbeth. Not yet. Macduff. He did command me to call timely on him. I have almost slipped thee the hour. Macbeth. I'll bring you to him. Macduff. I know this is a joyful trouble to you. But yet tis one. Macbeth. The labor we delight in physics pain. This is the door. Macduff. I'll make so bold to call. For tis my limited service. Exit. Lennox. Goes the king hence today? Macbeth. He does, he did appoint so. Lennox. The night has been unruly. Where we lay. Our chimneys were blown down, and, as they say. 
lamentings heard I the air, strange screams of death, and prophesying with accents terrible, of dire combustion and confused events. New Hachdi to the woeful time. The obscure bird. Clamorty the livelong night. Some say the earth. Was feverous and did shake. Macbeth. Twas a rough night. Lennox. My young remembrance cannot parallel. A fellow to it. Re-enter Macduff. Macduff. Oh horror, horror, horror. Tongue nor heart. Cannot conceive nor name thee. Macbeth. Lennox. What's the matter? Macduff. Confusion now hath made his masterpiece. Most sacrilegious murder hath broke ope. The Lord's anointed temple and stole thence. The life o' the building. Macbeth. What is t you say? The life? Lennox. Mean you his majesty? Macduff. Approach the chamber, and destroy your sight. With a new gorgon. Do not bid me speak. See, and then speak yourselves. Exeunt Macbeth and Lennox. Awake, awake. Ring the alarm bell. Murther and treason. Banquo and Analbin. Malcolm, awake. Shake off this downy sleep, death's counterfeit. And look on death itself. Up, up, and see. The great doom's image. Malcolm. Banquo. As from your graves rise up, and walk like sprites. To countenance this horror. Ring the bell. Bell rings. Enter Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. What's the business? That such a hideous trumpet calls to parley. The sleepers of the house? Speak, speak. Macduff. O oh, gentle lady. Tis not for you to hear what I can speak. The repetition in a woman's ear. Would murder as it fell. Enter Banquo. O oh, Banquo, Banquo. Our royal master's murder d. Lady Macbeth. Woe, alas. What, in our house? Banquo. Too cruel anywhere. Dear Duff, I prithee, contradict thyself. And say it is not so. Re-enter Macbeth and Lennox, with Ross. Macbeth. Had I but died an hour before this chance. I had lived a blessed time, for from this instant. There's nothing serious in mortality. All is but toys, renown and grace is dead. The wine of life is drawn, and the mere lees. Is left this vault to brag of. Enter Malcolm and Danalbin. Danalbin. What is amiss? Macbeth. You are, and do not know T. The spring, the head, the fountain of your blood. Is stopped, the very source of it is stopped D. Macduff. Your royal father's murder D. Malcolm. Oh, by whom? Lennox. Those of his chamber, as it seemed D, had done T. Their hands and faces were all badged with blood. So were their daggers, which unwiped we found. Upon their pillows. They stared, and were distracted, no man's life. Was to be trusted with them. Macbeth. Oh, yet I do repent me of my fury. That I did kill them. Macduff. Wherefore did you so? Macbeth. Who can be wise, amazed, temperate and furious? Loyal and neutral, in a moment? No man. The expedition of my violent love. Outrun the pause of reason. Here lay Duncan. His silver skin laced with his golden blood. And his gash d stabs look d like a breach in nature. For ruin's wasteful entrance, there, the murderers. Steep d in the colors of their trade, their daggers. Unmannerly breach d with gore. Who could refrain? That had a heart to love, and in that heart. Courage to make s love known? Lady Macbeth. Help me hence, ho. Macduff. Look to the lady. Malcolm. Aside to Danalbin. Why do we hold our tongues? That most may claim this argument for ours? Danalbin. 
aside to Malcolm. What should be spoken here? Where? Our fate. Hid in an auger hole, may rush and seize us? Let's away. Our tears are not yet broody. Malcolm. Aside to Danalbin. Nor our strong sorrow. Upon the foot of motion. Banquo. Look to the lady. Lady Macbeth is carried out. And when we have our naked frailties hid. That suffer in exposure, let us meet. And question this most bloody piece of work. To know it further. Fears and scruples shake us. In the great hand of God I stand, and thence. Against the undivulged pretense I fight. Of treasonous malice. Macduff. And so do I. All. So all. Macbeth. Let's briefly put on manly readiness. And meet I the hall together. All. Well contented. Exeunt all but Malcolm and Danalbin. Malcolm. What will you do? Let's not consort with them. To show an unfelt sorrow is an office. Which the false man does easy. I'll to England. Danalbin. To Ireland, I, our separated fortune. Shall keep us both the safer. Where we are. There's daggers in men's smiles, the near in blood. The nearer bloody. Malcolm. This murderous shaft that's shot. Hath not yet lighted and our safest way, is to avoid the aim. Therefore to horse. And let us not be dainty of leave-taking. But shift away. There's warrant in that theft. Which steals itself when there's no mercy left. Exeunt. Scene 4. Outside Macbeth's castle. Enter Ross with an old man. Old man. Three score and ten I can remember well within the volume of which time I have seen. Hours dreadful and things strange, but this sore night hath trifled former knowings. Ross. Ah, good father. Thou seest the heavens, as troubled with man's act. Threaten his bloody stage. By the clock tis day. And yet dark night strangles the travelling lamp. Eyes t night's predominance, or the day's shame. That darkness does the face of earth entomb. When living light should kiss it. Old man. Tis unnatural. Even like the deed that's done. On Tuesday last. A falcon towering in her pride of place. Was by a mousing owl hawk d at and killed e. Ross. And Duncan's horse is a thing most strange and certain. Beauteous and swift, the minions of their race. Turn d wild in nature broke their stalls, flung out. Contending gainst obedience, as they would make. War with mankind. Old man. Tis said they eat each other. Ross. They did so, to the amazement of mine eyes. That look d upon t. Enter Macduff. Here comes the good Macduff. How goes the world, sir, now? Macduff. Why, see you not. Ross. Is T known who did this more than bloody deed? Macduff. Those that Macbeth hath slain. Ross. Alas, the day. What good could they pretend? Macduff. They were suborn D. Malcolm and Danalbin, the king's two sons. Are stolen away and fled, which puts upon them. Suspicion of the deed. Ross. Gainst nature still. Thriftless ambition, that wilt raven up. Thine own life's means. Then tis most like. The sovereignty will fall upon Macbeth. Macduff. He is already named, and gone to scone. To be invested. Ross. Where is Duncan's body? Macduff. Carried to call Mechill. The sacred storehouse of his predecessors. And guardian of their bones. Ross. Will you to scone? Macduff. No, cousin, I'll to fife. Ross. Well, I will thither. Macduff. Well, may you see things well done there. Adieu. Lest our old robes sit easier than our new. Ross. 
Farewell, Father. Old man. God's benison go with you and with those. That would make good of bad and friends of foes. Exeunt. <laughs>